I will request the Honorable Justice to please deliver her presidential address. The very, very able and distinguished ladies on the dais, because short of memory, you know, I cannot name them very quick. But it's really a delightful moment for me to be in the midst of the galaxy of women achievers. Dr. Pinto, she said that we are honored and uh, all the ladies of the dais say they are honored to share the dais with me. Then I said, let me make an honest confession that it's mutual because you can understand a bit of law because it's related with life science. I cannot understand physics, chemistry, and engineering <laughs> without your assistance. And let me tell you, when I was a student and I had to do the numericals of the physics, I thought, oh my God, how can anyone sleep and smile doing physics numericals? <laughs> and those were the days when where women were typecast with a particular kind of a job. It was perceived that women can either be in the line of education, may can be nurse, and at the most can be doctors. But they can be engineers is really a very, very, it's very, I really feel elated that the women have achieved and made that mark in a profession and a subject which was always considered to be a male bastion, like my own profession, where law was treated to be a male-dominated profession. I'm glad. I, I, I was really wanting to have a full-length participation in all the sessions, but for certain pro, uh, personal reasons related to medical condition, and also that today being a woman's day, I have also to catch a flight to Jaipur. Otherwise, mind you, when I'm there, I don't look at the clock, I won't, don't watch the clock, because I feel that's a villain in our life. <laughs> I am really very thankful, and I would not, I rather I would look upon some, uh, 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 one more occasion, where, when I can interact with all of you at ease, and hear you rather than you hearing me. Because I guess you have much more to say, because what, what we say, we, you can get in, your, in our judgments and maybe at times in the media also. But what you have to say, we don't get to get an enough opportunity. So I'll wind up because I'm, you know, really what you say is staring hurry. It's shattering hurry in which I am because otherwise the people in Jaipur, which also is an educational institution, might feel disappointed. And today being the International Day for Women, I think we will not be uh, really doing justice to the cause without really establishing that we really believe in the ability of women. I guess if I have to identify just one, uh, one uh, uh, point as to what is the impediment in the, in the way of the uh, women to go uh, forward and ahead in life, I think most of the time women have to be have to prove themselves and prove it to the hilt that yes, you are capable. It's high time that society, all walks, all uh, uh, you know, stakeholders and all ingredients of the society really believe in the excellence and the potential of women and do not give them responsibility with a doubt, lurking doubt in their mind oh, I am giving this responsibility, will she be able to do it? That's a lurking doubt, and I don't know what is your experience. I think we should have an occasion where we can share our experience. Be you ever so high, the law may be very equal, yet there is a lot to be done to prove the women's potential and their contribution in society. I uh, congratulate the organizers especially Ashima, uh, who, who was so articulate and so forthright and so uh, uh, spoke with so much of clarity that I really felt, oh, the generation has gone a long way from our times. I really congratulate you, dear Ashima, for taking up this cause and congratulate and wish all the best 
to all the galaxy of the women achievers with best of wishes that we have miles and miles to go ahead and we'll look forward and prove our contribution in whatever little or excellent way that we can do. All of us are, I am equally honored. It's not that you are honored. I am honored, as I said, to be in the midst of such brilliant mind where we can not only tackle with the physics numericals, but balance the life in such a, such a wonderful way. Thanks to all our uh, uh, counterparts, the, the, the uh, what should I say, our uh, boy, not men, but boyfriends who have contributed to this, today's uh, function and have not really, uh, at least, you know, there's a little bit of balance in it. Thank you so much for inviting me. I wish I could spend some more time, but would look forward to some other occasion. Wish you all the best. Have a wonderful time. Have a great future and best of wishes to all of you. Thank you.